Hey girl, hey, so I'm going to do a video on my locker essentials. I got lots of requests to do something like this, so I figured I'd show you a few things that are a good idea to maybe have in your locker just in case you need something or um, something that you might not expect to use on an everyday basis, but it's um, just a nice thing to have it kept in your locker. First, um, me personally, I'm not someone that decorates their locker because, I mean, it's not that big a deal to me. If you want to decorate your locker, go for it. Use wrapping paper, put up pictures, put up little magnets, I don't know, whatever you want to do. Um, it's all you. Be creative with it if you like to. Something that I do recommend is putting a little mirror in it. Oh, hey, look, it's you. Am I blinding you? Am I blinding you? Am I blinding you? Feel the blind. JK. JK. So, um... I would recommend having, this isn't like an actual mirror that I would put in my locker because that obviously isn't a magnet mirror, but just like a smaller mirror that has magnets on it that you can just stick on the door of your locker. Um, it'll come in handy where you can stick it in the back of the locker. I don't care where you put it, just somewhere in your locker. Um, it's not like a necessity either. I've never really kept a mirror in my locker, but I know a lot of people like to. Um, it's convenient, but like just in case if you want to make sure your hair is not sticking up or something like that, I don't really know. Whatever you use an actual mirror for. Also, things that you could put on the door of your locker, you could put like a little mini dry erase board if you want to and write down homework for the day that you, or like write down books that you need to take home or something like that. Or you can just like write down, have your friends sign it, I don't know, just like for fun. Um, you can do whatever you want, just it's up to you. Personally, my books, I just use like one inch binders and they're not that tall um, compared to the locker. So... Um, I get a lot more use out of my locker if I put a little locker shelf in it and I put my books on top of it and then I can store other things underneath, like things I'm going to show you like this. Um, so then it's just easier to organize and everything and you can separate your books from your, you know, not so book school kind of things that I'm going to show you. First, I'd recommend keeping some backup school supplies. Um, I always run out of like pencils or something like that. So in here I just have a little pencil pouch. I don't really know if it's meant to be a makeup bag or a pencil pouch, but I'm using it for pencils. Um, I have a highlighter, a couple mechanical pencils, regular pens, and a few ninja pencils, which are just black pencils, if I do say so myself. Yeah, just basic school supplies in here that you run out of easily, or you lose, or you lend them out to people. Who knows how you can lose school supplies. Okay, and then also in here, this is like the kind of beauty stuff that's not so school related. I keep in a little pouch like this. Um, I fit all my beauty stuff in here. Personally, I don't bring a whole lot, but I mean, it's up to you what you think you're going to need at school. But first, I'm just going to do makeup. So, um, I bring a few makeup items. I usually carry them in my school bag, but I feel like this year I'm going to just keep them in my locker because I never really used them. Um, well, I did like once in a while, but it's like if I want to use something, I'll just swing by my locker and pick it up during a break or something like that. Um, so I'm not all, like, I'm not constantly lugging it around. It's not like it's heavy, but, like, it takes up room in my bag and stuff that I don't really need. So first, just a concealer. Um, everything I bring to school is kind of cheap, like, drugstore stuff that I wouldn't mind losing or if I, someone stole it or something. No one would really steal my makeup or anything, but just in case, you never know. So I bring drugstore stuff because at school you just need little touch-ups anyway. It's not like you need that perfect looking stuff. But this is just a CoverGirl Fresh Complexion Concealer. Dofa applicator, it's good for under eyes and blemishes, it's just a really light coverage. I don't really know why I just put it on my hand. Cool, Christy. And then next, I'm just going to have a loose powder. Um, I think this is really convenient because it's just a compact. This is the CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder. And it's just easy because it has like this um, powder puff in it. And then you just take it out and quickly dab it on and everything like that. It's really easy if you're looking kind of shiny during the day or something. Also, if you have pretty oily skin, you might want to use blotting papers. I've never used blotting papers because my skin's pretty dry. Um, but if that if you prefer those or something or you think you, they'd be used to you, you could you put those in your bag too. Um, or just a powder to kind of help. It could also just touch up the coverage or something. Next, I just have a plain black eyeliner. This is a Revlon Color Stay um, eyeliner. It's just a pencil one. It's in black. It came with my Girl Luscious Mascara, so that's pretty convenient. Um, I really like these eyeliners from the drugstore. Um, personally, it's just easy to touch up on my upper lash line, or if I want to put some on the lower lash line or something, I won't normally though, but um, it's just a convenient thing because it works for both. And then I just have an eyelash curler. I like to kind of brighten them up during the day. And I just have a basic mascara. This is CoverGirl Lash Blast. Ugh, lash Blast Drop. <laughs> and then I'll just keep like a basic product like this, the Stila Convertible Color Petunia. It's really easy if you want to add like a little flush to your cheeks during the day or just on the lips if you didn't bring a lip product or something like that. 
And then I'll bring like anything I'm wearing on my lips for that day. And this, today I'm wearing Revlon Pink Whisper Lip Gloss, but that's about it. And I'll just put throw this in my bag because lips is what you touch up the most, I guess. And I keep some little hair things in here because you never know when you're going to need a bobby pin or you want to completely change your hairstyle in the middle of the day. Um, this is just a little piece of cardboard that my bobby pins came off that I teared off. And I just keep a few bobby pins on here. You can keep some hair actual clips if you like them. This is just like a representation. I'm not actually going to bring one giant clip. Um, and then some hair bands or something like that and just like put them together so you won't lose them. But I hate when I'm at school and I'm feeling like dry skin on my hands or something. Not even your hands. Like if your elbows are feeling dry or something that you feel like you need lotion to refresh them. Why is everything in the world interrupting me today? Please control your car alarm, mister. Thank you. I appreciate it. Shea Cashmere Hand Cream by Bath & Body Works. And I find this super convenient. It smells good. It's really moisturizing. So I'll put this on my hands if I want to. Um, it says hand cream, but you can moisturize anywhere with it. I mean, it's not that big a deal. And then I recommend keeping um, either a rollerball like I do or like a mini size of, of perfume if you forgot to put some on or you just feel like, I don't know, why am I explaining this? You know what it's for. Um, but yeah, just like roll it on in between classes or something just really quickly up a bit like a ninja. And then finally, I'd recommend keeping a little bit of cash um, in your locker just in case, kind of like hide it in your makeup bag or something. This is just 10 bucks. I don't know if I even bring this much because like I don't really know. I don't usually use cash, but if you're out of lunch money or something or if they're selling something that you might want to buy, you never know when you might need a couple extra bucks. So I'd recommend like a five maybe, but I don't know. This is just what I had in my wall really quick. Um, but yeah, you never know when you're going to need cash or if you need to help a friend out. I don't know. Why do I explain this? It's your own scenario. You'll find out when you need cash. These are just a few things that I would personally recommend taking and keeping in your locker at school. I hope you guys benefited from this, give you some ideas. Of course, you can take this, make it your own, kind of adjust it to figure your own needs. I'll talk to you soon. Yay. Why am I so awkward when I end videos? I just don't even want to face the end. Bye, guys.